Well, we've demonstrated on a number of occasions over the period of devolution that you can successfully run a government in the Senate on 30 seats. Uh, but I will be prepared to work with other parties in the Senate. Of course, no party has a monopoly of good ideas and where there are policies on which there is common ground, then I will always be keen to work with others when that is to the advantage of Wales. Whatever party it is, so you'd be happy to work on policies with the Conservatives, Plaid Cymru, any other party? Well, the Conservative Party, even in this election, had a policy of a Clean Air Act for Wales. Uh, we are also committed to such a piece of legislation. So where there is some common ground, then I think, you know, the Senate works well when we are able to work across party lines uh, and to deliver outcomes that make a difference in the lives of Welsh people. Now, the story of Labour in Wales is very different to what's happened in the rest of England. We've seen uh, Labour hemorrhaging seats uh, across England in the council elections, uh, losing the Hartlepool by-election. In Wales, you've managed to hang on to some of those critical red wall seats, Wrexham, for example, Dellen, that many thought would fall to the Conservatives. Why do you think that is? Well, I think the big advantage we have over some of our colleagues in England is that we have been in government here in Wales, we're able to demonstrate to Welsh people that when we say in our manifesto that we will achieve something on their behalf, that we have a record that demonstrates that we have done so successfully. When you're in opposition, you, you put forward ideas, you show what you'd like to do, but you're not actually in a position of being able to put those things into practice in the way that you are if you are in government. And that's been to our advantage in this election. At the same time, though, some of the things that people uh, in Team Keir Starmer have been blaming the uh, result on, whether it's, you know, Jeremy Corbyn, uh, whether it's Brexit, whether it's a vaccine bounce. I mean, you, you know, you, you are also in this situation. Yet it doesn't seem to have tainted you in the same way. You've got any tips for Keir Starmer? Well, uh, I know that Keir Starmer will want to have a review of these elections across the United Kingdom, we'll be very keen to contribute to that. And if there are any things that uh, we've been able to do in Wales that would be of interest to others, of course, we'll be there to do so. Uh, I think the fact that Wales has the lowest rate of coronavirus anywhere in the United Kingdom, the fastest rate of vaccination, all of that has been noticed by people in Wales. When I've been on the doorstep, people have been very keen to say that they are glad they've lived in Wales over the last 15 months. They feel that they've been kept safe during the pandemic. And then, of course, people want to talk about the future as well. And being in government means that you've got a platform from which you can hold those conversations. Do you think that Keir Starmer needs to take a few more risks, come up with a few more policies? Well, I think Labour's had a whole tranche of very popular policies.